Hi everybody, this is Peter. Uh, today I'm doing another tutorial, uh, my series on uh, rinkside hockey board game from FTP Sports. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at uh, neutral zone play in the game. So, in rinkside hockey, um, the neutral zone set up like a uh, traffic light uh, with uh, green, yellow, and red coloring. So, um, I'll go through some examples of each. Um, the green one will be the quickest because it's the simplest one. And um, I'll show you what happens and I'll show you what the different um, failed neutral zone uh, happenings are. Okay. All right. So I'll start with the uh, neutral zone green. And again, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, this section here in the middle. We'll see where it says neutral zone. You line it up with the left card. And uh, you'll see a green bar here so that just means that uh, the player with the puck the right wing so let's say it's uh, Colorado trying to gain uh, the zone against Buffalo so it's uh, Hey Duke um, he um, just um, is able to skate freely into the um, Buffalo zone uh, without being challenged so you would just go on to a uh, in zone play uh, situation next it has all the offensive options uh, that's the simplest one okay um, uh, so let's say we get a, a neutral zone red situation like we have here. Uh, the left wing is trying to get into the uh, offensive zone and uh, his opponent is the left wing on the other team. So, um, so let's say that's Tange against uh, JP Dumont. So in the red situation you're going to be looking at the defense rating of the defender, three, and uh, flipping a card and seeing if uh, the red number is within his rating. So we'll flip a card. We we'll look at the, the red seven on this side because it's Buffalo and it's above Dumont's rating of three. So that means that uh, Tange is uh, successful in getting past Dumont into, and into the Buffalo zone. And uh, as always with this game, uh, if somebody makes a move or fails to make a move, you're doing a penalty check. So you would look at the penalty numbers here. Uh, 57 in case Tange drew the penalty or uh, or 56 in case uh, Dumont uh, committed the penalty. No, actually, it would be he he made the move so you would only be checking to see if Tange drew the penalty from uh, uh, from one of the opponents on Buffalo. If Tange failed to make the move, uh, for instance, so let's go on the next card. So let's say that that's a neutral zone red situation again. So we're looking at the red number and sorry. The red number is three within Dumont's defense rating, so Dumont has uh, stopped Tange from entering the zone. And uh, in that case, you would look on um, uh, Tange's, for, for, a pen, for a possible penalty, you'd look at the number here, 58, which is way below his, uh, his uh, drop, his uh, commit penalty rating of 97. Because you failed to make the move, you would be checking against uh, if he p commits a penalty. Anyway, I'm getting just um, sidetracked. The point is, um, uh, Tange failed to uh, uh, gain the zone against uh, Dumont, and uh, in that case, you would look at um, the uh, the um, failed neutral zone play, and that's on the same card as the that you got the result from. In this case, it would be offsides. So I'll get to those uh, in a minute. Get to more the, more examples of those. So say we've got a, um, um, a yellow situation. So there's three types of yellow possibilities. Um, so the right wing, sorry, the right defense is going to do try to do a chip and chase, to try to chip it by the defender and uh, chase the puck down. Um, so you'd look at the, uh, so you're going to be looking at the right defense in this case. So that's uh, uh, Rob Blake. And you're going to be looking at his offense rating, 16, and seeing if the, the 20, the 20 number is within his uh, within his uh, offense rating. If it is, he, he uh, successfully gains his own. If he if he's not, if he doesn't do it, then you look in your failed neutral zone play. Okay, another kind of um, yellow uh, possibility is um, where you just have a yellow with a position here. So that means uh, the left wing Tange. Is trying to, and it's basically a, a, a battle between uh, Tange and the, the defender here, the right wing, Satan. And what you, in that case, you would look at the uh, the neutral zone ratings of the two players. So in this case, Tange has a, his rating is 16, Satan's is 15, so Tange would gain the zone 
and uh, you would move on from there. If um, if Satan if Tank if Satan's rating was higher than Tangay's, then he would fail to gain the zone, and you would look at the failed neutral zone play on the same card. If they're the same, then um, the, the sort of the, the battle continues, and you would draw draw a new new card. You would um, advance the time thirty seconds, and you would draw a new card, and then would just look at this uh, section here, looking for the V or the H, V for visitor, H for home, to see who gets the. Uh, it's basically a loose puck uh, resolution. Okay, so um, oh yeah, some other uh, yellow uh, examples here are um, uh, pass into zone. Okay, uh, another yellow zone, yellow um, light situation is this uh, pass into zone, and uh, you look look at the player on the, on the right side, the left wing, and he's going to try to make a pass to a teammate. So in that case, you're going to flip, and you're going to look at the uh, the 100 number, you know, the combined 100 number, so 59 in that case, and you would um, you would look at the left wing's passing rating, which is this number here in the middle of the card, uh, beside his shooting rating, 85. So if this if that was the case, uh, 59 is within 85, so he makes a successful pass to the teammate. And then you would, uh, I think you would uh, flip the cards and you look at the zone play and you look at the offensive player on the, listed on the zone play and that person, would, that player would have uh, have the puck now in the neutral zone with uh, whatever options are available. Okay, the other uh, yellow uh, situation you can have is a skate into zone and it's just like the pass into zone. You're just looking at the player and you're looking at his offense rating and looking at the D20 number on the next card to see if he... Uh, uh, is able to skate into the zone. Okay, so um, here's an example of uh, of uh, one of the uh, neutral failed neutral zone plays. So, if any of these uh, neutral zone plays fail, um, you would uh, look on the same card to see what happens. Offsides is one of them. Um, you have offsides with a question mark, and in that case, um, I believe what you do is you look at the uh, the uh, the player in the neutral zone section here, center, and you would check to see if the next uh, card, was, if the number is, when is within his offense rating. If it is, uh, then it's not an offside, and they actually have gained the zone, but it's a loose puck in the uh, the, the um, offensive zone. So it would be the loose puck in the Buffalo zone. Um, if the uh, the draw number, the 20 number is above the, the player's offense rating, then it, it's an offside. And a whistle. In that case, you would uh, advance the time. Uh, that's one of the. Uh, um, I think that's the only occasion this game. <clears throat> excuse me. When there's an offside, where you would advance advance the time. Okay. One of the others here is neutral zone. That simply means that uh, the other team gets the puck in the neutral zone, and you would uh, flip a card, and then you would check the neutral zone to see what the next situation is. Um, exposed player. Oh, the, sorry, the unoffensive player is exposed for a hit in the neutral zone. And the uh, the defensive player on the uh, the left side is... Uh, uh, you're going to be checking that player to see if uh, he makes a, uh, a physical play or a hit. So in this case, uh, you would look at the uh, center on Buffalo, and his physical rating is 3, and his neutral zone hit rating is 1. So you would draw and check the, D10, the, the 10 number to see if he... Uh, makes that physical hit, and then Buffalo would automatically get the puck. Uh, turnover, um, that's automatically the other team gets the uh, puck, and they also get a rush transition. So uh, you would automatically go to a rush transition play. Uh, in this case, I think it's I think you would look at the same card. I'm not sure. I can't remember now. Um, where the right wing would be in control of the puck, and he would have a breakaway, and then you would resolve uh, the play that way. Um, yep. So that's it for so that's it for a neutral zone play. As you can see, um, kind of a unique um, mechanic with the, the traffic light thing with uh, several different um, several different um, situations that can come up and uh, a way to resolve them. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you later.